Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil Zero, the Let's Play with Neo Rambler. Right then, let's go and start exploring this new place that we find ourselves in. The Research Training Facility. It's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. So it wasn't Jesus after all, it was Marcus. But apparently Marcus is dead, but now he's alive again. Or at least, a younger version of him's alive. Hmm. And it's even got Wesker and Birkin nervous. And they're not that easy to get nervous. They're pretty fearful people. Or fearless, I should say. Anyway, let's have a look now at where we can go. So there's quite a few doors in this area on the upstairs bit, and there's a few doors downstairs as well. And I haven't got a clue where's the best place to start, because this place is pretty big. So, yeah. It's got a similar vibe to Resident Evil 1 in terms of the fact that we have, you know, a sort of big open hallway staircase place, just like in the mansion. But yeah, there's a lot more doors and there's a lot more areas to go in. So where do we start? I think we'll start downstairs. Let's work our, let's start down and work our way up. Uh, on the floor there is the hatchway back down to the train, so if there's any items you want, that you left on the train, you can go back there. So, like I said before, we can go back and grab stuff. Although I don't think off the top of my head there's anything we do actually need. Um, maybe it's worth bearing in mind later. Maybe ink ribbons, that kind of thing. Which actually reminds me, I should go back and drop off some stuff. We need to drop off those ink ribbons. Because we're going to use this main hall room as an inventory area. That's how I usually play it anyway. Um, there is a limit actually as to how many items you can drop in a room. Um, it's not really said in the game. But I guess it's down to memory constraints. Um, but there is, yeah, you can only drop so many items in a room. Then you have to go find another room, which could be nearby, could be the next room over, and drop stuff in there instead. So yeah, there is a memory constraint thing in one room area. But um, I shan't worry about that for now. Anyway, so how's Rebecca doing? Yeah, Rebecca's okay. Billy's alright. She's got plenty of health. Uh, what I might do is exchange uh, the full heal for Billy. And that's that. Um, we have been Billy for a while, actually. So I think I'll change over to Rebecca. And he's with us at the moment. I just want to just check again that um, he's on attack mode. Yes, he is. And he's also on team, which makes sense. Good times, and uh, I think as well, while we're here, I think we'll change costumes with Rebecca. I'm sorry that I'm sort of stalling a bit here. I'm, I, I'm not, I promise you. Uh, I just thought maybe we can, might change things up a bit, so let's have a look. Um, I'm going to go with the Stars prototype outfit. So this is the outfit that she would have had if this was on the N64. It's pretty similar, but a little bit darker. There you go. Billy, don't worry about the costume change there. It's all part of the plan. Right, let's go through this door then. Right, okay. Can't hear anything. Doesn't mean that there isn't something nearby. It's very quiet, this game. You get very, very eerie. So you've got to be on your guard. Mm. Mm. Look, the cubicle door is open. You can hear the window in the background banging against the side there. Red herb here, though. I'll take that. I think I'll combine it. There we go. So we've now both got a full heal each. There's another green herb here as well. Oh, and some gas. Right, okay. So we've got six units of gas there. That's interesting. Right. 
Whoa. Oh god, get out, get out, go, 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 get out, go, 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 go. I forgot about that. I think Billy might be left in there though. Billy get out with us. Oh he did. Whew. Okay. That was close. Um that there was a leech zombie. They suck. They are very, very deadly and they take a lot of punishment. There is no point in fighting them unless it's absolutely necessary. And there's no point in using pistols against them either. It, it's just a waste of bullets. So the best strategy for them is to just run, run, run. But also plan ahead. If you start noticing leech zombies are popping up in areas that you might need to go back to, remember where they are and maybe it might be best to send one person ahead and leave the other person somewhere safe, like in the main room. Door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Top part is engraved with the image of a clock. Alright. Oh god, what the f Ah! Good Jesus Christ! <laughs> I hate those things. I hate the music as well, because the music just suddenly picks up pace and it's like, Oh my god, there's a thing, there's a thing! Which I know for some people is not really scary, it is a bit, like, cheap. It's like a cheap way to jump scare you. But seriously, what the F? I don't like these zombies, they are freaking scary. And they are annoying and they're powerful. You can kill them though, they are killable. Um, but we need some more firepower. Um, they are actually weak to fire. So the Molotov cocktails that you gather, they're not a bad idea to use against them. But even so, you're going to get a lot of damage done to you if you come across them. So you just got to hedge your bets, really, and choose when to fight, choose when to run. Which is good, because that's what this game's all about. But yeah, Jesus Christ. Ugh. I hate them. And they pop up anyway. It's too quiet. Again. Oh. There be crows. And that camera angle just smells of jump scare with crows through windows. I was going to have a quick look around. Oh, there's a document there. I think that'll be alright. <clears throat> Notice to all staff. This document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the Vaccine Research and Infections Agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor, West Operations Control Room. Second floor, Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. Well, for a illegible old document, I think we read the whole thing there. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else of note other than that flashy item over there. Okay. I'm preparing for a jump scare. What the hell's that? A crank handle. Okay. Ah! That was a bit of a delayed scare, to be honest with you, because you could know when I went to pick up the item, the loading time took a bit longer. It's <laughs> just like, there's a little moment to freeze, and the jump scare! That kind of took the edge off it a bit. <laughs> okay, we've got a crank handle. Let's have a look at it. Crank handle with a square shape protrusion at one end. Sweet. Don't know what we'll need it for, but let's drop it downstairs for now. There's going to be a lot of backtracking in this, because again, I haven't got a clue where to go. And I've forgotten all of the main areas of the game. Well, until I visually see it again, I suppose. Okay. So the crank handle is now over there. Great, so we've got some gas, we've got a crank handle, uh, we've got some more full heal, which is good. Just don't want to use them up if we can help it. Right, let's go right this time. I want to see if we can go through this door. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so we can't go through that door. The door is locked, but there does seem to be a keyhole. There doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part's engraved through the image of a clock, just like the other one. So I guess there's some sort of clock mechanism that will open up those doors. Okie doke. The rain, uh, the rain seems to have let up, but the sky is still covered with dark, ominous clouds. Yes, yeah, not just dark clouds, ominous clouds. <laughs> Alright then, 
Uh, there is another door up here, so this is double door, which we'll uh, have a peek at. Oh, what's this? There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be open before you. Alright, so I guess we've got to put some stuff on there to balance it out. Okay, bear that in mind then, people. Or person, whoever's watching. Well, no one. I, mean, I have to bear in mind instead. Still quiet. I said this game is very eerie. I mean, for me, I know I've said this many times already, but I hate this place. It's so creepy. Ooh, shotgun shells. And an ink ribbon. Well, that's good. As well as a stage with speakers and a thing. Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. Evac drill path locked. System disk required to activate release system. Alright, okay. Fair enough. So, nothing of use there. All these... Pa all these uh... Oh, there's a document here. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. They will be so new and so model that they will wreck and destroy everything that they do with no common sense whatsoever. That is the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race or creed, because they are uh, open to all and inclusive of everyone, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees, and they have none of those whatsoever because from previous diary entries in the mansion and other things, discipline is just not in there. Obedience is questionable, and unity, everybody leaves each other as soon as something goes wrong. So, even though this sounds like an appropriate morale to follow, or appropriate slogan or what have you, they never do it. The three words are the basic principles, blah, 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 considered to be the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honour to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. And again, nobody did. Or did they? <laughs> Maybe I'm just being too pessimistic. And again, when you're dealing with Umbrella, which is a pretty pessimistic uh, company, you kind of have to, really. Oh, I've got some more ink ribbon. How many, though? I bet you anyway, it's only going to be one. Oh no, it's three. Okay, that's handy. And I'm just going to switch to Billy because I want him to pick up the shotgun shells. Which is nice that we've got seven instead of six this time. You know, that one extra shell can make all the difference. Right. Okay, so we've explored this area then. I think there might be another door on the other side. So we'll have a quick look in there first because I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah, there's this door here. And there's a door over there. And a door guarded by knights. The knight's swords firmly bar access to the door. It's quite elaborate, that isn't it? Could you not just lift that yourself? Like, just, you know, get a grip on the blade. I'm sure it's not that sharp. And then just, you know, lift it up yourself. Or break it or something. Oh, I don't know. That would make for a poor video game, wouldn't it? You know, common sense and all. <laughs> Who needs that in a video game? Boring. Uh oh, there be zombies. All right, Billy, get ready. Oh, they sound so sick. Okay, they're dressed up in some sort of uh, uniform, which is interesting. another one coming. Just take your time, take your time. And like I said, these corridors are very narrow. It's absolutely pointless trying to uh... it is pointless trying to get past them. It really is. I mean, I suppose we could get past them now that they're down on the ground, but then There we go. Yes, yeah, it might seem pointless to try and waste all this ammo, but seriously, at this point in the game, you just, you just want to do what you got to do. Just kill him. Right, sorry, Billy. I don't want to keep you there. I want to keep Rebecca up front. 
Okay, so they're dead. Like you said, you don't have to worry about them turning into crimson heads. They don't do that in this game. So we're okay on that one. There's a double door to the right. So we'll see what's going around here. Ooh. It's locked. Door is embossed with a fire motif. Mm. I must say, this place has got some very nice uh, decor in terms of, like, renaissance type thing. These paintings and everything are very nice looking. I'll give it that. I'll give it. I'll give it the the, the style of this place. Although it's creepy, it is very uh, eloquent. Very nice. Ooh, let's slowly judge our way through here. Can't hear anything, so I think we're all right for now. What's this area? Is this a map? Let's have a look. <clears throat> it is. It's a map. Ace. So that's the basement, that's where the train crashed, so those flashy dots there are items that we've left behind that we can go back if we need to. Those are the items that we've left in the safe room. We're now on the second floor and the third floor. There's no ground floor in this game if you're in the UK, because it's obviously developed in Japan for a Western audience. Well no, it wasn't developed for a Western audience, it was developed in Japan and then when they translated it obviously they considered the American way of floors. So you know, you have a first floor, second floor, third floor instead of a ground floor, then first floor, then second floor. What's that? Take the microfilm. The film there, Ted. Take the film. Alright. It's locked. It's locked. The candle is burnt out. Mm. Well, Billy's got a lighter, hasn't he? Maybe we can use that. More ink ribbon. <laughs> okay. Only one though, but well, it's better than now, I suppose. Well, at least we've got plenty of ink room to save the game if we need to. Then that—that's good. I'm—I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Is there anything else in here though? The bookshelf contains a wide selection of books. That doesn't seem to be of anything of interest. Ooh, ooh, what's this? It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. Ooh. Oh, I've left it behind, haven't I? Damn. I think that's where our handle goes. Possibly. Alright. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's go back then. And let's go and drop some stuff off in the... Uh, in our safe room. In our safe place. Like I said, the zombies disappear. As soon as you kill them, they're gone. There's no... I don't know why they didn't carry on the Crombo idea in this game. Because I believe this game came out after the remaster of Resident Evil 1. I think it did, anyway. Or maybe they were being developed at the same time and then released. I think this came out after Resident Evil Remaster. I can't remember. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Anyway, point being is, is let's go downstairs and drop some stuff off and pick some stuff up. So at least we're making some progress. Small but steady progress, which is good. And we haven't been hurt yet, so that's better. That's even gooder. Downside is, though, is of course, we're running low on ammo, but that's nothing new. Right, we'll drop this herb off as well. And we'll drop the ink off. I don't know where that film goes, so we'll leave it here for now. Okay. Billy... Billy's alright, but he can. I suppose he can leave the shotgun shells, really. Because, again, we're just not going to need them at the moment. Alright, excellent. Let's get back to Rebecca. Let's just check as well. Everybody's got their guns loaded up. I think they have. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, no. Got to get the handle first. <laughs> totally forgot that. That would have been a bit of an error on my half. And again, this is the problem with dropping items everywhere. Uh, you do need to make some space for it because, again, trying to pick up the item you want can be a real bitch. But I'm used to that, so I won't get too upset by that if it happens. Come on, Bills. I like the fact that Bills' handcuffs are still attached to his left arm. You know, like they're just hanging there. It's a really neat effect. And I think they sway as well. Oh no, I don't think they do actually. No, I think they are static. That's a shame. By the way, I do like that little detail though. It'd be cool if they swayed, but I suppose it's only a minute detail. I guess it's not important. Right. Let's go back the way we came then. Let's see if we can use this square handle. Is 
It's nice when there's no zombos about. It really is. As much as it gets a bit quiet and a bit dull, at least you, you know where's where's safe and where isn't. And like I said, I can't remember this game very well at all. I've got I've got some memories of it, like I said, but yeah, I'm I'm a bit rusty. But that's a good thing, because that means it's a bit more tense. Right, okay, let's see if we can use this then. We can. Nice. So that's now working. The lift looks usable, but you'll need someone to get onto it first. Right. Oh. Oh, right, the lift's there. Okie doke. Right. I think you have to send Rebecca up at this point. I think Billy might be too heavy. Let, let's... I'll try Billy first. and then, No, we won't try Billy because Billy's on caution. No, no, no. Actually, no, I don't want to. Cause again, we've got to preserve health. All right, what I'll do is Billy. Billy, old chum. Billy, my old chummy, chummy, wummy. Once I get the hang of the controls again. Damn it. Exchange the Molotovs. There we go. Um, what I want to do is exchange... Nope. I want to exchange the pistol bullets. No, I don't want to... Ex Let's have the pistol bullets. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, that'll do. Right, I'm going to leave Rebecca on there. We're going to send Rebecca up. I think Rebecca is the only one who can go up because of the weight limit. I think. No, 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 no. You've got to... Oh, sod. That's the only trouble with this partner system. You have to be quite... It is quite fussy sometimes, but it's not broken. It's just fussy. Um, right. So we've done that, and then switch to Billy, and then we want to turn Rebecca to solo. There we go. So she doesn't suddenly wander off the lift. Okay, Bills. Use the lift. Yeah. Well, I think it is. I think Billy's strong enough to pull the handle. I think if Rebecca tries to do it, she can't do it. She's not strong enough. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my God. I don't know what they are. I want to pick up the pistol bullet. Pick up the pistol bullets, damn it. <laughs> I don't know what they are. They look like giant insects. I don't know. I can go, 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 run, run, out, 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 out. I hate it when you can't anticipate jump scares. Oh god, crows! Crows! I want to get the herbs though. Sorry. Just want to pick up herbs. Leave me alone. I don't want to do anything bad to you. I just want to get out of here. Oh, there's a door over there. Can I go through here? I can! I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but... Oh, God. Where are we? <laughs> we've got some pistol ammo, though. Let's have a look at the map, see where we are. Oh. We're in a big open room. Hmm. Okay. Before we do go that way, I'd rather just check outside if there isn't another way to go. I don't think there is, but I just want to double check. Ah, feckin' cross! Okay. There's a box there. Don't think I can do anything with it. Okay, fine. Ah! Get off me! <laughs> you can shoot the crows if you want, but I really want to conserve some ammo. I'd, I'd rather have crows to deal with than uh, than anything else. <laughs> Those horrible insecty things. I don't know what they were. <laughs> Trouble is, there might have been a key item in that room. Now that's what's bothering me. I don't think there is, though. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh god, look at this room. It's huge. It's like a sw swimming pool? Oh, it's a thing. It's a cage for racing animals. The cage is too heavy to lift. Right, I think we need Billy for this. But Billy's not here at the moment. We need to go rendezvous with him. Okay. Oh, just listen to the echoey footsteps. It's, so, it's just little details like this. It's so good. The machine has finished winding the chain. Alright. Machine has finished winding the chain. 
It's a machine for winding the chain. Start the machine. There's no way for Rebecca to move it. God damn it, Rebecca. It's not your fault, though. It's not your fault. Oh, there's another night set of doors here. Which, of course, are blocked. Okay. I think... The all right, that goes that way. That's the only way we can go now is go downstairs. Right, okay. Now I think that... I don't know what that door is, actually. I think it's... Door is now unlocked. Ah, good. See where this goes, then. I think this goes back to the main hall. I think it's one of those doors we couldn't unlock on the other side. It is. Well, that's good. Okay. Okay. Good times. Right. Now then, where did I go with Billy? I think. I think it was this way, wasn't it? I've got a rendezvous with Billy. I could actually just control Billy and ask him to go back, but I'm not sure as to whether there's enemies about or not, so I'd rather take Rebecca and reunite with him. I mean, at the same time, though, you know, we get to play as Rebecca for a bit. We haven't played as Rebecca that much. Because, like I said, because she's so weak, a lot of people tend to just play as Billy. But unless you're forced to do Rebecca. Oh, Christ! Uh oh. Okay. A new Zombo has appeared. <laughs> a new Challenger has appeared. Well, we've got the pistol ammo to deal with him, so let's, let's get rid of him. Now. I don't know where he came from, but either way, he's dead. Again. <laughs> Billy! Billy, is that you? I don't think that was Billy. Okay, I think those are the bugs upstairs, those weird giant cockroach things are up there. I'm happy to just leave them there for now. Okay, now then, I want to try something over here. I want to switch to Billy and see if we can uh, light this candle. What's it say? Candle is burnt out. I wonder if we can use the lighter on it. No, we can't. Hmm. Just try one more time. No. Oh, it's because we've got no lighter fluid in there, have we? It's still empty, that lighter, isn't it? Ah, the lighter appears to be out of fuel. We've got to find some lighter fuel, then. Okay. Well, at least we're back with Rebecca. Uh, at least we're back with Billy now, I should say. <laughs> this game's creepy. Right, okay. Well, we've taken care of that extra zombo threat, so that's okay. We've got some more pistol ammo to keep us going, so that's good. Right. Well then, I guess we'll go back to where Rebecca was, and we'll go through that other door that was in that downstairsy bit. Not downstairsy bit, the, uh, where the big room was, you know. We went past the door before we went and unlocked this one over here. Let's go check that door out. Again, just want to double check what we've got. Again, I'm going to leave that green herb here. Just so then we've got some health as backup, that's all. Okay. Good times. Right, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. Still tense though. <laughs> So many uh, scares in this game that I can't remember. Again, that's why I like this game, because it's not as memorable as the other ones. So then when you play it again, you get scared again. <laughs> and it, it means its replayability is there, you know? Even if it's just there every now and again, you know? We could do this big room bit with Billy as well. But I want to check out here first. For better or for worse. Oh, uh, ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Fucking 
bugs. Right, I might leave Billy... I don't know how... I can't remember how good they are with um, pistol shots. And to be honest with you, Billy's already injured enough as it is. I might try the Molotovs. Yeah, I'm going to try the Molotovs, see if they work. But I'm just going to go in with Rebecca alone. So I'm going to leave Billy out here. Well, actually, no. No, no, no. We'll take him with us because... Um, he might be able to bring us some backup firepower. This could go horribly wrong, by the way. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Okay. Nice. Uh-oh. Got him. Phew! I'm... Still on a yellow caution. Okay, that that was good. That was good. That went really well, actually. It was worth two bottles of cocktails for that, because Becca got them on spot on. Good girl. Oh, God, this room's creepy. The soundtrack to this game is really creepy. That was... What was that? Up. I think it's part of the background soundtrack. It's locked. The door's uh, embossed with a water motif. See, the soundtrack to this game is incredibly good. So creepy. But, da da da! A grenade launcher! Uh, yeah, we'll have that. Brilliant. Alright, anything else in here? The grandfather clock appears to be broken. Stop ticking altogether. Alright, okay. There's an item over here which only Rebecca can pick up, so... Take the white statue. Hmm, okay. I wonder if that's for that scales thing. There's a small hole in the back. A st stone statue in the shape of a woman. Okay. Well, a woman without any arms or a head. And then something clipping on the back. I wonder if it would be angel wings or something like that. can't remember. Okay, well, aside from a small ambush scare scenario there, we did get a grenade launcher. And some shotgun shells. Very handy. Still no shotgun, though. I mean, we've got the hunting gun to use, I suppose. I might go back and get that. Could be handy as a backup weapon. But it takes up two, sh two slots. That's the only problem. All right, uh, let's just again go back and drop stuff off. Right, uh, let's, have a look, let's see what we got. Well, actually, wait, what we'll do is we'll switch to Billy, pick up these other shotgun shells so we can combine them together. Okay. Sorry, back to Billy. Right, let's drop these shells off. So we've got 14 shells, which is good. Got this grenade launcher, which I'm gonna leave here because I don't particularly want to use it. Okay, switch back to Rebecca. I know, I know, I could have switched back to it in the main main uh, main area, but there you go. Right, we're gonna leave the statue here. There's no point putting it on the scales because, well, if it is meant to go on the scales, we have uh, nothing to actually balance it with. But we've got sort of a collection of stuff here now. So we've got some gasoline, we've got a first aid spray, two green herbs, we've got two full heels on us, a grenade launcher, 14 shells, some ink ribbon, a microfilm, and a statue. So we're getting there. You know, could set up a, a garage sale or something like that. As they say in America. Right. Okay, uh, let's have a think. You know what? I might go back for that hunting rifle. Or the hunting shotgun. Because I've got a sneaking suspicion. We're going to need it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to go back and get it. Because there is another shotgun in this place. I do know that. Um, and it's a better shotgun. It's like a, you know, a standard Resident Evil shotgun. But... What I want to do next, I do remember something, and it does require a little bit of firepower. You cannot leave any more in this room. Damn it! 
Alright, we'll take that with us then. Right, I'll send... I'm only going to send one person back down there. I'll send Billy because he's already injured and therefore... And he's got less space. He's got more space on it. If I leave the pistol... No, if I exchange the pistol bullets with Rebecca as well. So that he's got some free space to pick up the hunting rifle. Oh, anyway, he's only picked up the hunting rifle, but it might give us a chance to have a look in that area where the train was, see if there's anything else worthy of picking up. I think there's some ink ribbons as well, which might be handy. Um, doesn't matter if he gets bit a few times, because he can use up his full heal then. So I don't particularly want him to, but he's got it there. So yeah, alright then. So if we leave Becca here then, I think what we'll do is we'll go back with Billy and grab some stuff. But we'll just send Billy alone, because if we send the other two people down there, there will be a waste of ammo against the zombos and all that stuff. There's just no point. We'll just send one down there. Alright, it's a bit slow though, old Billy. Um, in which case I might unequip the pistol. See if he runs a bit faster. Yeah. Becca probably might have been a bit better actually for this, because she would have been a bit more agile. But, to be honest with you, I'd rather take a tank in this room. There's four zombos in here. I don't know whereabouts they are position-wise. Okay. Got the shotgun. Alright, let's see what else in here. So we can get around them. Oh, we can. Okay, not too bad. Uh-oh. I get a bit here. Run out of the way, Billy. Yes, good lad. That's it. Pick up that one. Pick up the, pick up the ink ribbon, Billy. Billy! Oh, you absolute idiot! Pick up the ribbon! Why wouldn't he pick it up? If he'd have picked it up, I'd have been fine! What a jerk! Oh, as well, we, one bite could have been avoided. There's two knives there, I don't think we need them. Let's just leave them there. Okay, that's, that, that could have gone better, but... Because Billy wouldn't pick up the feckin' ribbon! Ugh. He's like, no, 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 Neo, no, if we're going to do this, you've got to get bit once. That's the rules. Then you can pick up the ink ribbon. Just like with the grappling hook shotgun, you couldn't pick it up or do it until you'd done the other ting with the scorpion, okay? Da rules, Neo. F you, Billy. <laughs> but one bite's better than, like, multiple bites. But at least we've got our shotgun back. <laughs> Becca just looks bored. Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder if he's thinking about me. Uh, Rebecca, I've been bit. I might be turning into a zombo. Well, so have I. <laughs> we can turn into zombos together. <laughs> That'd be creepy. Right, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What do I want to do? Right, shotgun shells. I want to pick those up. Actually, I want to pick up the grenade launcher as well. No, not the stuff. Oh, game. Right, let's drop the statue off over here. Probably the best idea is to spread these items out. I want to pick up the ink ribbons to combine them. There we are. I right, pick up the ink ribbon, but I hate you, Billy. 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 God damn it. See, this is what I mean. When you got all these items in this room, it's a real butt hurt. <sighs> right. Okay. At least we're spreading things out a bit. Right now, Billy, pick up the ribbon. I don't know why you won't do it, but I need you to pick up the ribbon. Billy, the herb is on the other side of the feckin' room, mate. Pick up the goddamn ribbon. Thank you. I think Billy's just not very good at picking up ribbons. Maybe he's got something against him. I don't know. But it's weird. Right, leave him over here then. Right. God, it takes ages to get yourself organised in this game sometimes. Right, but Look, he's right next to the items I want him to pick up. Pick up! Oh my god. Right, pick up the grenade launcher. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I want you to pick up the shotgun shells as well. Oh, what do you mean I can't carry them? I've got enough space, haven't I? I guess not. Right. Exchange the pistol with Rebecca, because I don't want you to have the pistol right now. I want you to have the shells. Okay. So I'm going to make Billy our sort of heavy weapons guy for a while. So he's got shotgun, grenade launcher, Rebecca's got two pistols, ton of ammo, and a Molotov cocktail. I think that's a good thing. 
Right, I am going to save the game now, and I am going to finish the video here. I was going to do the big bit now, but um, I've got times against me, and I need to get ready for going out this afternoon. So, let's grab our ink ribbon successfully. Let's see if Becca's any better at picking up the ink ribbon. Yes, she is, because I don't know. Maybe it's a character trait within the game. Right, Billy is a little injured, but again, he's okay for now, so I'm not going to worry too much about him. We've got no, well, eight ink ribbons after this, which is good, because that means we've got plenty of ribbon to save. Because I remember when I played this last with my sister, I ran out of ribbon very quickly. I kept panicking all the time. So it's good that I've been a little bit more disciplined, just as the training facility says that I needed to be, to uh, do the thing. As in, play this game properly. Right then, so next time then, we'll go back to that big open room that we found with Rebecca and we'll use the power of Billy to open up that cage and grab what's ever in that, is in that cage. But I do believe we've got a fight on our hands once we do, because it smells of boss fight just because of big giant room. Yeah. Anyway, take it easy guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Hope you're well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.